On October 18th, 2018, Velodyne held its first ever World Safety Summit on Autonomous Technology, bringing together industry, government, and the public to address safety and progress in the realm of self-driving vehicles. We're at a pivotal moment in the history of transportation. The good part is that we can save lives. The difficult part is the confusion as it's rolled out. The commercialization of autonomy is upon us. In the news, marketed to consumers with products that are advertised, this car is almost autonomous. Can cars be almost autonomous? I think when we talk about almost autonomous, it's difficult because we're talking about safety. And when we talk about safety, it's like saying, is something almost safe? The goal of this summit is for collaboration between stakeholders and members of the public to promote consumer transparency, good practice, and advance the potential of autonomous vehicles. In doing so, we can reduce the damage done by the 94% of collisions caused by human error each year. So the work you're doing here is vital. It's very vital to saving lives. We are driven by this firm belief that the technologies that David Hall invented and that we are bringing forth will ultimately make the world a much safer place. We are committed to working together to advance the autonomous project with a focus on safety and consumer transparency. There's a lot of stakeholders at play. There's the academic institutions who are driving the innovation and research behind the technologies of autonomous vehicles. There are the businesses who are actually creating the cases to be able to use this and to implement them and drive them in a consumer context. There's the actual people who will have a better quality of life because they'll be using autonomous vehicles. And there's the cities um, and communities around these people that will fundamentally change as a result of the development of autonomous vehicles. So the issue is really not can we automate? The issue is how can we do it with the minimum of missteps? Because admittedly, the public is very, very skeptical about this idea of automating cars. If we have unfortunate events because of not learning from the past, that's going to make this skeptical public even more skeptical. It is essential that we come together to realize the shared value of the societal progress we are making in transportation for the benefit of all. We need answers for the public. And now is the time for us to come together as a community and solve important questions like what language are we going to use? What is autonomous? What is not autonomous? For the sake of the public and public safety. When you share information, you create a trust framework for the public. You create a much easier lift in gaining the public's trust and appreciation and excitement over the opportunity to test and eventually see autonomous vehicles deployed. Safety must be paramount. It must be non-negotiable, and it must be a shared responsibility for the industry as a whole. We have competition, but let's not let competition stop us from the best conversations that we can have.